Good afternoon, youth family. It's Jeremy here, greeting you from my backyard. And today I wanted to talk to you guys a little more about Sabbath. I know um, this isn't the first time I've talked about it, uh, but this time I want to share just a, another thing that I like to do for, um, for Sabbath recharge. Uh, as all of you guys probably know, I love to ride my bike uh, for long periods of time, for many miles, so much that I went on a six-day bike ride back in February that uh, really recharged my soul. But another way that I love to find recharge is working in a garden. And behind me um, is my main garden. I've got some zucchini here at the corners. I've got some squash. That you see the yellow flower over there. Um, also some squash right here and here. I've got nine different stalks of corn um, on these cages. I've got beans climbing. And um, at every corner, uh, if you can see on the corners, I've got different kinds of chili peppers. Also, in other parts of the garden, right over there, I've got some, some uh, tomatoes. I've got a pineapple plant on the patio. I've got two orange trees over in that corner of the yard. And we've got different kinds of flowers, too. Uh, what's really cool about how our gardening's been going lately is that we spend a whole lot of time in the backyard now with, uh, with kids in the house. So I, I can notice if my, my plants need watered or not. But... Um, so so that's kind of created a new habit in me to where i've put some more effort towards gardening which is something that i love to do and uh, i find it to be um, a very good just sabbath recharge it's kind of become part of my daily routine uh, when i first started working at the church i had a good pastor friend that gave me some advice i asked him probably my first day in the job i said what what would you want to give some advice to me if you could give someone advice on their very first day? And what he told me was, um, <clears throat> divert daily, he said, withdraw weekly, and abandon annually. So divert daily meant find something, some Sabbath type thing, some restful type thing, um, some way to just kind of unwind and uh, recharge your spiritual batteries every day. So watering my garden every day that's become a divert daily thing for me uh, withdraw weekly that means that for one day a week uh, you spend as much of that day as possible in, in something you enjoy recharging your spiritual batteries and abandon annually meant that you need to take some sort of um, intentional vacation every year uh, however long that is is up to you so what I wanted to encourage you guys to do is um, find something that is like gardening, that is like riding your bike. Um, some of you guys play music. Um, some of you guys love to cook. So find something that recharges you spiritually and try to make a habit of it. Uh, because just as important it is to be diligent and be hardworking and to uh, commit everything we do to God, it's also equally important to find rest so that we can continue to do good works for God. And when you do your Sabbath activity, give it to the glory of God. So one of the things that I'm looking forward to, hopefully, is having too many vegetables for, for Amber and, and the kids and I to have that I'll be able to share them with others. So it'll become some sort of um, <clears throat> unintentional ministry at the same time. I know the food pantry is always looking for fresh vegetables and um, just fresh food that that they don't necessarily get all the time so i look forward to being able to share some of that as well so all we have is time guys we've got plenty of time um we've had now close to two months of nothing but a whole lot of time to figure out some some stuff that we could do to uh to make use of our time so I encourage you to find something that that you love to do and just do it to the glory of God and pray that it is something that recharges you. So let's pray. God, thank you for your love. Thank you for this day that we have to rise and, and um, give ourselves to you. Thank you that you provide leisure things in our lives that um, just help us recharge our spiritual batteries. Um, each of us are different. So what, what works for one person might not work for another. But God, we pray that you uh, lead us to that Sabbath activity that, that you have planned for us, that, that thing that we just love to do that gives glory to you. And uh, pray that we find that and spend time in that every day. In your son's name, 